Hey, what's happening guys? We're back playing with the uh, Geiger counter board again. And I have some documentation here on how to uh, calibrate the voltage for the tube. Thanks to uh, PulseJet. Appreciate that. So we're going to do that and make sure we're getting enough voltage to the tube. And uh, first thing we're going to do is just check our uh, USB power supply and make sure we're getting enough voltage in. Yeah, 5.03 volts, that's good. So, so far, so good. Alright, so to calibrate this, it says you need to calibrate before installing Geiger tubes. Uh, trim the R100 potentiometer to approximately 50 ohms when the kit is powered off. All right, so we're going to do that. First, we're going to remove our Geiger Mueller tube. We'll place that gently aside to rest. This is R100, and we need to trim it to 50 ohms. Okie dokie. So let's see where she's at right now. Bring in the meter set for ohms. Now, if we read across the outside, we get 43.6. Let's get some tools out here. And we will see if we can't trim that bad boy. A little better. Try that. Forty five point nine. We're getting there. So I'm really hopeful that this is going to work. So I've been wanting to play around with it. Fifty one point eight. Hey, eh, went a little too far. Trust me, not the first time in my life I've heard that. Fifty point oh three. We're gonna call that good. Okay, so that was step one. Trimmed it to 50 cower off. Connect positive tube clip to pins J4 with a jumper wire. Okay, so I want me to connect those two things together. Got to find a jumper wire. I'll be right back. I cannot find a single jumper wire here. Did manage to find this, and I believe. I can make it work. Maybe. Or maybe I'm just delusional. Who knows? We're going to find out. Come on, get on there. Alright, that's on there. Take off that. Clip that here. Alrighty, zoom out here a little bit. So our next step is connect multimeter black probe to any ground point. Okay, well that's easy enough. Connect multimeter probe after J2. J2 is down in there, so let's move this around like here. And we'll power it up. We're going to read voltage. We're supposedly looking for 57 volts at the J2 point. So there's a ground point. 
There's G2. Hmm. There we go here. Nothing. G2 there. Let's try this here. There's a ground here. Nothing. Well, okay. That's interesting. Let's uh, just make sure we have continuity between here and here, which we do. I'm going to check those ground points. Yep, continuity there too. All right. Hmm. Let's see if any of these over here are ground points. Not you. Not you. How about you? No. 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 All right, so there's a ground point. Let's try this again. G2. Nothing. Oh, how about if we turn the switch on? Paul, you're just like an idiot savant without the savant part. Actually, there's a ground point. 49 volts. And it says we are supposed to tune this for 57 volts. Okay, so maybe our voltage was low. Alright, why am I not getting voltage now? Okay, 49 volts. I have to tune that for 57. I'm going the wrong way. A little too much. Almost there. And... 57 volts. Okay. So now let's shut that off. Take off our improvised jumper wire. Unplug that. And I am mean, curious as to what the, uh, the resistance is now across that. Thirty-eight point five. All right, interesting. Now we can reinstall our GM tube. Notice there is the plus mark there. Plus mark there. Squeezer, squeezer, making sure that we're in there as best as we can be. Just a little loose. I just don't like that. But we have to work with what we got. All right, let's plug it in again and see if it reacts any better now. Or if it blows up. Can you guys hear that? Can you see it? We got like five or six counts in a row and then it decided to shut off. Interesting. Let's bring in our uh, 
uranium sample, or maybe it's uranium sample. Let's see if we got anything. Oh yeah. You see that? It's definitely reading off that, so that's good. Now, I just want to take a reading across the tube. 166 volts. All right. So far, so good. Let's hook it back up to our uh, Arduino board and see what we get there. Okay, I've remade the connections. Let's power up the Arduino. I can hear the little guy clicking there. That's definitely working better. We're seeing like four counts per minute. Let's get out our potentially <laughs> radioactive material here. And what I'll do is I will just uh, put some there like that. Oh yeah. I can hear it picking up the radiation, although my counter might not be working so great. But this thing is going nuts. Yeah, I can hear it tweeting away there pretty good. All right, let's uh let's have a look at the counter. Okay, I don't know how well you guys can see that. If I shield it a little bit. You can see it is picking up. I put some radioactive material down there. And I've set up the scope here. And take a look at the pulses. Now this is just a single pulse. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust it. And the way to do that is we need to adjust the pulse width. So we need to measure it first of all. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring up my cursors and come on manual channel one okay cursor A Good. So my pulse width is, if you guys can see that, let's zoom in. Right there, AX. We're at 320. Man, I can't see. 320 microseconds, is that what it says? Yep, okay, good. So we'll turn our cursors off. And we'll put this back in the regular run mode. We'll go over here to our trigger menu. And we're going to trigger on a pulse. Come on, get in there. On channel 1. When the pulse is... Hold on here. Okay, I know you should be able to hear the pulses and you can see them on the screen there so the Geiger counter itself is now working correctly and the only thing I'm seeming to have a problem whoops problem with at this point is the code so if you look down here You can see it's showing two, but we're definitely getting more than two. 
I mean, all you have to do is look at those pulses. So, I'm going to have to work on my code some more. But hey, at least we got the Geiger counter working. That's something. And that is real radioactive material. Cool beans. All right. If you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.